So this is Ela, and I'm going to talk about different qualities, brands of watercolor paint. So I've got two sets here. And this one, they call this Opaque Colors by Angora. And this is Van Gogh <clears throat> watercolor, which is my favorite affordable student grade brand of, of watercolor paint. And you can also buy tubes of this brand for about $5, which is very reasonable. And if you look, you'll really notice there's a difference in how these colors look in the set. Um, this They look bigger here. It looks like there's more paint in there, but actually they're very shallow. These look like they're smaller, but actually there's, there's more depth to these guys on this side. So there's actually, the, the amount of paint per, per set is not really that as different as it appears. The other thing is the concentration of the colors is very, very different. So I'll give a little demonstration. Um, so these colors kind of look the way that you hope they're gonna look on the paper. And what I find is that they tend to be kind of pale. They look sort of chalky in the palette. And, uh, you know, if I go in and swatch a color, Right, I'm gonna go swatch this light green right here. It's it's very, very light. It's kind of hard to get a really solid color. It's it ends up being kind of pale. Whereas these colors, a lot of these colors almost look black. It's like you can't tell what they are. They look black. But if I dip my brush in here. Look at that. This is actually a light green. And you can see, if I really stir my brush around, I can get a much more concentrated light green. And then I can just keep adding more water until I get the concentration of green that I want. So it's a much, it's actually have more color, more choices in this little guy because it'll go much darker than this can. Right, these, this is a brown. Looks much lighter when I put it here, but I can I can get quite dark. I can stir it around. If I want to get dark, I can. 